What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to this video uh, in which I quickly wanted to take a look at the Gala token. Um, Gala Games token used to be called like that, but uh, now it's simply Gala. Uh, it's been a while since we analyzed this. Uh, I think it's clear why we're analyzing it right now. It's, it's very bullish today, at least it's up 63%. Uh, volume almost at a billion, which is great. Uh, a lot of people are buying into it, I think, as of right now. Volume is also still growing, so that's a good thing as well. Um, so yeah, man, it's been it's been a while since we since we analyzed Gala because I actually started analyzing this at the beginning, like when it just came up. Um, not even then, but like right here, I analyzed it quite a lot in November. After that, maybe a couple of times here, but um, thought it would be interesting to take a look at it right now as well because uh, because of how bullish it is. Still, you should remember obviously that it's still down thirty percent over the last week explained it in my last two videos as well uh, but the main reason behind that is that if a coin drops down 50 percent it needs to gain a hundred percent to actually get back at the same level so for example gala dropped down like 60 or 50 percent that it needs to gain more than 60 percent uh, to get back at that level uh, so gaining 65 percent today is great but it, it doesn't quite get us back to the same levels and if you take a look at gala you can actually see that we had a massive drop to drop down to, to 5 cents here, um, which is a major psychological support level and those tend to hold for the long term, so, so that's great and I actually do think this level is going to hold for quite a long time. This might actually be the bottom for uh, for a longer period of time because I do think, and, and it would be better to actually get some FIPS with us, I think, to uh, to kind of check that out as well something like this so i do think we can get up to this level right here between ultimately 12 cents and and like 10 and a half cents so we have already almost touched that 10 and a half cents level so i think it's more going to be likely uh, between 11 cents and, and 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 like 12 cents that we can reach but i do think we can reach that area and, and it is what you tend to see uh, with a lot of a uh, lot of cryptos i mean you see it today throughout the whole market some cryptos more than others um, but after such a big drop down fundamental uh, drop down uh, when the market becomes a little bit more quiet and when it settles down or capitulates i think is another word people use uh, you tend to see that we actually get a nice bullish spike uh, it's just the problem with that is that you have to predict what the last support will be uh, so am i saying with that that this is going to be the last support well it's really a bilateral answer if this is a real bear market so if this is a bear, if this is a bear market for more than a year um, then it's going to be very tough to make this a loss support and i don't think it will be but if this is a bear market of some sort like we had last year which ironically also started around this period of time uh, under different circumstances but still we should we should realize realize that um, if that's the case, I actually do think this full level between 4.3 cents and 5 cents is going to hold. And on the short term, I even think that this level here at 7 cents is going to hold. So right now we're at 9.5 cents. Um, I think on the daily we're actually going to, unless something very bad happens throughout the whole crypto world, uh, like USDT uh, crashing or something, I don't want to talk it into the world, but it's possible. Um, unless something like that happens, I, I think 7 cents is actually going to hold for... Uh, quite a period of time so at least a couple of days but it could actually hold on for for like one or two weeks uh from now on I, I still expect us to get some more bullish moves we might just consolidate a little bit up here and afterwards drop down again to that seven cents area um but we must not forget that that is quite a strong quite a strong level i, I think we also took a break retest off of it right here yeah we did um, so that is quite a strong level. It might be a little bit of a bold prediction uh, to actually say that that's going to hold because a lot of people are thinking we are entering a, a bear market. Uh, but still, a bear market also has its, its stages. And what we just talked about, if this is a real bear market, so for multiple years, um, yeah, then obviously, if we are dropping down through seven cents soon, uh, that could actually be a confirmation that it's going to be uh, a bear market for, for a longer period of time. But if that 7 cents could actually hold up for like one or two weeks, uh, that increases the chance, in my opinion at least, that we will have a bear market like last year and that we can actually see some recovery uh, at, at, at the end of the year. Um, so short term, I think we can get up to this level here at the 618 FIP around 12 cents. 
we'll probably do something like uh, this on, on the four hour time frame. Probably do something like this on the four hour time frame and then drop down again to that level, maybe find some support at seven and a half cents and afterwards down to seven cents. Still think that's going to hold on for, for at least a couple of days. It would be great if we hold on for longer, but I don't think we'll, we'll be able to break above this level here um, at 12 and a half cents, which is the upper bound of that level. Um, I don't think that's possible. If we do do that, that would be great. And hopefully we will do that. But as of right now, though, I, I think the chances of that happening are um, are way too slim to talk about it, to talk about that too much. Um, so, yeah, that's basically my analysis on Gala games for now or the Gala token. If you do have any questions about the analysis or anything I said within this video, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, and as for now, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.